Now we have sunshine, rain, and a double rainbow. That is cool. Today is Saturday, 22nd of April, 2017. And I was just saying how this relates to Jacob Wetterling. Wetterling, homosexual, sexual demon, mirror boy. This one very wet peewee. Mirror boy, sensual boy, wetter boy. They all add up to 133 if you add up the letters according to their place in the alphabet. They all have a value of 133. Jacob's snake has a value of 50. And if you add them together, you get 183. Now, today, if you count 183 days from today, you land on the 28th anniversary of Jacob Wedling's abduction and murder in Minnesota. Today is 182 days since the 27th anniversary. But this year it lands on a Sunday and Jake was actually kidnapped on a Sunday. And the halfway point actually has a value of 183. April 30 code, my Monday, May 1, Storm Prophet. Nathan in Australia, Jacob Wetterling's symbolic storm, the halfway point. And if you add the value of snake, 50, onto 183, you get 233, which is the value of Jacob Irwin Wetterling. Guardian Angel, Nathan Breeze. Jacob's April 30 code. Jaten's stinging Mayday. Mayday refers to the 1st of May. April 30 flogging. April 30 twink. Twink is a name given to gay teens who are usually 18 or 19. Of course, Jake was murdered when he was, what, 11 years and 8 months old. So he never really got to experience his sexuality or develop enough to probably even know what his sexuality... No, I don't believe that. I believe he did know his, what his sexuality was. I think you do know at that age. And yeah, I do believe Jake was gay or bisexual. And I think had Jake lived, he would have been very open about his sexuality. He would not have stayed in the closet. The rainbow's getting stronger. So, April 30 snake code is 233. So Jake's spirit number is 8. And today's date, Saturday 22nd of April 2017, plus 8 days, lands you on Sunday 30th of April 2017. 2-8 to 16, and the 30th of April is 16 days after Good Friday. So Jake was American, 
So this refers to America. I think the date here will be the 1st of May here in Australia where we are about 15 hours. Well, we're exactly 15 hours here in New South Wales ahead of Minnesota in the USA. And this is the prophecy, a weather prophecy of two boys who are no longer here on Earth who I believe are connected by love and those boys are Jacob Wesseling and Nathan Breeze who died aged 13 back in 2009 and Nathan was a victim of the Black Saturday bushfires so yeah I do believe there's a soul connection between Jacob and Nathan I believe they're soulmates boyfriends and their prophecy for the last day of April and the first day of May in 2017 depending where you live is to do with some kind of big natural event probably a weather event even though the first thing I connected Jake to was volcanoes I think this might have something to do with tornadoes it is to tornado season in America now but the other thing I've strongly connected Jake to in the past is uh, tropical cyclones, hurricanes, typhoons the weather in this part of the world is forecast to be cold but fine by then so I'm pretty sure this prophecy relates to America maybe even to Jake's somewhere close to home for him he's from St. Joseph a small town near St. Cloud in Minnesota and obviously his family are still grieving after finding out last August that Jake was definitely murdered Jake's remains were identified on Wednesday the 31st of August 2016 so there's a few anniversaries this year and today is the, the exact halfway point between the 27th and 28th anniversaries of Jacob Wedling's abduction in Minnesota